on now to the finals after those runoffs with race 31, the solo B final, and the highest point scorer, or it worked around the other way, didn't it? Lowest point scorer in the B final gets first choice of uh, gate positions. So we're going to see Dave Steen, Colin White, Andy Riley, Gary Lobb, Richard Musson, Peter Lloyd, Thierry Lair, and Gary Lloyd. So Barks Bonanza solo B final. And the Motorcycle News jacket to go with that nice prize money at the end of the day. So here we go then. And up through the middle, number 69, Thierry Allaire making a good start. And it's Thierry Allaire who's uh, ahead of the action at the moment and uh, powering down the back. Coming through to second place there, so Thierry Allaire from Andy Riley. And uh, these two already starting with full away from Peter Lloyd in third place. Gary Lobb coming up into contention. Richard Musson right at the back must have really missed the gate because he's got an awful lot of work to do now. Looks like mechanical problems. And Andy Riley closes up on the leader. So it's Thierry Hilaire. Come Andy Riley in second place from Peter Lloyd in third. From Gary Lobb in fourth. Behind him at number 31 comes through Colin White. So then the battle's on up there and Andy Riley closes. So it's Thierry Allaire with the advantage. Andy Riley in second place, and they're very, very close together indeed. Gary Love gets up to third, and Gary Love could spring a surprise on the podium. And Peter Lloyd in fourth place, coming right behind them. So on the far side is Gary Love coming right back to Andy Riley in third, in fourth place, Peter Lloyd, in fifth place, number 106, Dave Steen. And then Gary Lloyd. At least that's the way it seemed to me, but let's rate for the official verdict. And an unhappy Richard Musson, clearly with a problem, crosses the line.